Friends, today I will show you how you can add a new purchased domain to your previously purchased hosting server. That means I'll focus on how to set up an add-in domain in your hosting server. Here I have used Namek Heap for domain and hosting service. Other hosting servers have to do the same process. So let's get started. Coming soon after the intro video. Guys, wherever you buy a domain, go through the process of buying the domain. Since I will buy the domain from a name cheap, I first log in here. That is since you do an add-in domain, first complete the domain purchase process. After selecting the domain for how long you will buy it, select whether to keep Premier DMS or not. And then complete the billing process. Check if you are a robot. It doesn't always come. Sometimes you may have to test whether a robot Friends, you can see the payment process is complete. Now you can download the payment receipt from the download option here, or check your email provided there will also be a receipt sent.
Friends, now to connect this domain to your previously purchased hosting service, log in to your hosting server's cPanel and go to the Add-on Domain option. Connect your domain to the server from the Create Add-on Domain option. Friends, you can see that the domain is connected to the server. Now you can install SSL certificate for it. Also you can create any kind of website for this domain including WordPress. Here, we have chosen the second option for installing the SSL certificate of the new domain namely the SSL certificate by plugin. In fact, this is a relatively easy method to activate SSL certificates. Good to say that after you install the SSL certificate it takes quite a while for it to take effect. And even better to say that, though SSL certificate are active, but it may take a while for your site to show HTTPS capabilities. So do not lose patience. Guys, let's create an e-commerce site by installing WordPress for this add-in domain.
It is good to say that, unless your SSL certificate is fully integrated, it may show up unsafe in your browser. However, after some time, the browser will not show the unsafe condition. Now see that the SSL certificate has become active, but do not be impatient as it will take more time for HTTPS to take effect. Okay friends, always be good. Maybe I'll come up to you with a different topic. Be good, we are with you. You proceed, thanks. Thank you. 